Darren, just looking back on that one, is it difficult not to feel hard done by there? It's disappointing to concede in the manner we did. Um, it was probably going to be their only way of scoring tonight was from a set piece. They're a hard working team um, that are a threat from set pieces. And I thought we'd handled them well. Even the one they scored from, we got the first touch. We just um, didn't pick up the, the, the second touch from, from Lochi's save. But I don't want to spend too much time looking at Dover. I want to look at ourselves and myself. And tonight, we moved the ball in the first half too slowly with... I mentioned it before about a lack of real sort of purpose at times. A couple of times it was quite threatening, but sometimes a lack of purpose. Um, I talk about time on the ball and need runners in behind, and we had enough time on the ball that we didn't have enough options in behind and down the sides of people. A lot of it was in front of them, so that was frustrating because it's something we, we're big on. And then in the second half, didn't sustain any attacks, didn't really retain the ball well enough in the second half, although we looked like we might have scored once or twice on the, on the counter-attack and that, not really getting in their half and then sustaining it and putting passes together in their half. And so it became a bit of a basketball match, you attack, we attack in the second half, which I don't like them games because they then can go either way. We, we weren't in control of the game. Um, we most likely dominated the ball uh, statistically, but it's it's irrelevant, isn't it? It's irrelevant, and I, I want us to pass with a purpose. Um, I I would genuinely still be standing here disappointed at, at nil nil if it if it finished nil nil, but it obviously didn't. So um, disappointing. I know it's so difficult after a result like that, but are there any positives that you can take away from today? Uh, Harry Taylor, Harry Taylor again. The, the, the boy's incredible, we can play anywhere. Um, tries his absolute socks off for the badge, wherever I play him. So credit to him, he deserves credit. Um, and for all of our good attacking play that we're capable of, our front four, just off it a bit tonight, just off it, in all fairness. Um, Having Ricardo back on the pitch, uh, two games in three days is a is a plus. Is a plus. We'll have to see how his his knee fares over the next few days in respect of the weekend. Um, but look, it would have been, it could have been another point and another small step in the right direction, with plenty of things to improve on. But as it turns out, it's a defeat, so we have to dust ourselves down, um, remind ourselves of what we've been doing well. People obviously talk about goals in open play I get that I understand um, we need to improve on that so that will be one of a few things that we'll be working on going into the weekend we've talked about a striker a lot is there any updates on how we're coming there listen I can I, uh, you guys will be the first to know I don't want to I don't want to keep because what I'm mindful of is if I keep talking about the new guy that potentially could be coming in that hasn't come in yet you know, I, I don't want it to have an impact on the guys that are already here. You know, they're, they're trying their best. Simeon's just got three and four goals, so he's he's tried his best. Shaq is closer and closer. So, you know, I'm, I know what I'm working with at the minute and I know what they're capable of. And all I'm looking for is someone to give a, a, a forward that will give us a different option, just a slightly different option. Um, but I don't want to... I know it's been mentioned a lot, but I don't want to keep harping on about it in case it has a detrimental effect on the, on the boys that are trying to do their best for us at the moment.